keep that chin up, young lady. You have friends all around you. Good luck. Everyone is counting on me right now to be a well-behaved person, abide by the law, and wait my turn out. Otherwise, this could be <laughs> very well the end of Shantae. The library? You shouldn't go without a library card. Hmm. Where do I go about getting one of those? If we can head up here, we can meet up with Sky. Shantae? I thought they had you under lock and key. I'm on my way to the palace library to get something to read, you know, to pass the time. Can I borrow your library card? You read a book. This I, I have to see. You got the library card. Just don't ruin this card like you did the last one. I nibble when I'm nervous. <laughs> We all have our weird quirks when we get nervous. Down here... This is really cute, girl. Scuttle Town Squids Miss at your service! I take adorable little heart squids and melt them down! To make more help for you. Ready to force some heart holders? No way! I'll be waiting in case you change your mind! I only have one squid right now. I can't really do much of anything with it. That being said, before I leave leave, pretty sure I can grab this one. Yep, it counts. Just uh, don't look at me too hard. Pretty sure I need three heart squids in order to make it. Let me just double check. So yeah, we got a, a bit of ways to go, but I'll definitely be back with this girl in no time as her the usual. Having two hearts just won't do for Shantae. I'm going to get her killed big time. Welcome to my shop. I feel like, I don't know why it took me a while to like think it through, but when I get nervous, when I get nervous, I feel like I, I start to scratch myself a lot. I start to like anxiously scratch at my hand and stuff and I make everything all red. It's frustrating. Warp to the ship instantly for outdoor use only. There's bubbles. Your best defense against projectile. Monster milk. Build, boost your attack strength full of what might be enzymes. <laughs> Buy in bulk and save. Super monster milk. Take your attacks to the Mac with this powerful beverage. Or we could get some shampoo and silky cream. Upgrade your hair for faster whipping or upgrade your hair to deal more damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Learn backdash. It advanced fighters move quickly. Evade your attacker. Learn recover. Backflip to recover from a heavy hit. A powerful offensive attack. There's a lot to learn here in the shops. I, I'm honestly not super sure what I will get. I think I'll start off by getting, I think I'll start off by buying a bunch of potions and then perhaps I'll buy a couple of pirate cells. Oh, I don't have the money for that. Okay, we'll just stick with the potions for now. Thinking the long road won't be so bad, at least for you guys, I'll cut it out whenever I have to. <laughs> now, let's see that library card. Golly, they say the camera adds five, five pounds. But in your case, it gave you blonde hair and a totally different face. Amazing. Head down this path to reach Sequin Land Palace in the library. Good luck. Back here at the Scarecrow Fields. Feels good to be back. Ah, oh, this place is so beautiful. And our friends are still here from last time as well. And I got some monster milk for my troubles. Unfortunately, I still get her occasionally. Can I just say the animations on the explosions look really good, like really, really good. Fortunately, can't quite reach that guy, but I can hit everyone else on the ground. Jump across and hit this dude right here. What about you guys? I'm kind of curious to know, what is something you think you do when you're nervous? I, as I mentioned, I have like the scratching thing and I guess Shantae nibbles. I do like to chew on things. I, <laughs> I know I like chewing and also don't like chewing. I, it, does it sound weird? I got a pike ball. That's that should make things easier, right? <laughs> like, I like things like gum and stuff, but not because when I'm nervous, I just enjoy the taste of it. Not the taste, but like the, I like working that muscle. The, I believe it's called the masseter. It's your strongest muscle, or second strongest. I could be wrong. I, what do what do I know? I'm not some scientist doctor. Ouch. I'm gonna wait for that cloud to pass by, and then I'm gonna wail on this dude right here. Then I'm gonna jump my way up, hit this guy. Then we're gonna head across up and avoid everything that we can. 
this place is a really good spot to make money, by the way. If you ever feel like you're kind of short in cash, well, maybe it's not the best place to make money, but it's one of the earliest places. You can just run back and forth and kill these scarecrows for a while. Ooh, there's a squid up there. There's absolutely no way I can grab it, though, so we'll just have to remember it for later. Hey, buddy. All right, I'm all saved up and ready to go, as she puts it. Welcome back to Tangle Forest. A lot more lively than last time, isn't it? But this guy still functions the same. After you hit him a couple times, he'll start taking to the air. Then you just gotta meet him where it hurts. Then these lovely little spiders. Now a little bit easier to hit. There's a lot of subtle differences they did for Pirate's Curse, but they really wait for it, I mean. They worked really hard to kind of make up for the things that people probably complained about in the last games, and then updated it for the newer games. Oh dear. Now how am I supposed to get up there? Carefully, there we go. Jump across the thickets. Kind of missed the music from before though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-oh, ooh. Luckily for me, I don't take fall damage. Otherwise, that would have been pretty ugly. Something I think I failed to bring up in the past episode that I would like to continue now is you may notice that her voice is ever so slightly, not only prevalent, but also just subtly different. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the start of Christina V. So Christina V is a phenomenal voice actress that I think I've mentioned on several occasions now that I kind of, I, I say it as a joke, 100% as a joke, but she's very much plaguing my life. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I never realized just how many things Christina V has voiced in my childhood until like I started actually like gaining an ear for what she does. And then suddenly she was everywhere. Welcome to Sequin Lim Palace. Hello. What are you doing here? Everyone in Scuttletown thinks I'm a screw up. So I'm picking up odd jobs at the palace. Painting fences, installing locks and whatnot. And now you're babysitting? Oh, the under kids? Nah, they're just here to chew the fat. Mine. I can't escape. Got any flesh pops on you? I need three of them. You can find them in the sears below the palace. Duly noted. Hopefully Bolo will be fine while I'm away. We can head straight down though. <sighs> What's up, sir? Oh, don't mind me. I just flummoxed because I dropped something very important down the drain. See, I'm a traveling brochure salesman. That's a very interesting percep. That's a very interesting profession. You must have seen some exciting things in your travels, huh? Travels? I've lived here in front of the palace my whole life. But I thought you said... Your generation makes me sick with your arrogance. I'm not a brochure salesman who travels. No, I sell traveling brochures. And I dropped my very last bro vacation brochure down this drain. Disgusting. Uh, sorry ab about that. Jeez. <laughs> I want to get down this drain, but I'm not super confident that I know how. Oh me, oh my, that new blue-haired lad installed our new lock backwards, upside down, and inside out. Now we're trapped inside without a royal gate key. Sob sob. <laughs> oh, Bolo. Maybe that is the case. Oh, hey. Oh, fuss and fret. Baron. I haven't seen you in a while. What's the matter? Oh, you know, post-boss syndrome. <laughs> now that you've embarked on a new adventure, I feel like I'm destined to become some kind of filler boss. Mm. I'm not sure I follow. You know, I was a major enemy last time, but this time, I just feel like we're going to have to battle again just to round out the package. Package? You wouldn't understand. Sigh, I need to get away, someplace warm. Maybe it's time for a vacation, Squid Baron. A change of perspective could do you good. Say, you might be onto something. I always had a fairly flat view of the world. Kind of staring at the same four walls, you know? Repetitive, high-stress music. I could use a change of scenery. <laughs> there you go. If you think of a good vacation spot, please let me know. Meantime, I'll go cry in a corner. Mm. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, poor Squid Baron. I bet a travel agent would know some juicy vacation spots. In due time, my friend. In due time. I think everyone should try having a vacation. Ye royal sewers. <laughs> well, be, be, behold to thine place knoweth as thine. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try to do that kind of stuff. This place is 
teeming with flesh pops so you're gonna be able to get all the stuff you need in no time in fact i just got three so that's it for that but guess what you're still gonna end up with quite a bit i'm fairly certain if we make our way through we'll definitely see a lot of secrets along the way and just like last time these blocks are breakable got another flesh pop and another one yeah we're gonna get a lot of flesh pops and lots of money i feel like it's important to note Flesh pop, foul tasting food that restores a bit of health. It's absolutely disgusting and arguably maybe cannibalism depending on who that flesh belongs to. But hey, if you're in a pinch, definitely consider it, I suppose. We'll make our way across, down and through this passage right here. Take care of this guy and get hurt anyways. We want to jump up and grab our next heart squid. No, I think three is the amount you want to have per getting a heart. So we're now in a pretty good spot. We can jump out of that, climb our way up, or just jump. Even without our monkey form, we're still pretty good when it comes to the chains. Just jump and you can go ever so slightly faster. Does not mean that I'll be better at this whole chain stuff. Not in the slightest. Pretty sure this is the same way as before. So if you ever need to head back out, that's a faster way out. Nice, nice jumping me. Very nice jumping. Now, unfortunately, we cannot get that treasure. We need something narrow that can hit that switch and we don't have it. So unfortunately, is this it? And so we're seeing that's as far as we can go into the sewers, right? Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to find a key or the vacation brochure, and it looks like we won't be able to press on any further without it. But we did get maybe an overabundance of flesh pops. So Bolo, Hey, Flesh Pops, did you get those for me? Yeah, awesome sauce. Yeah, these will do the trick. By the way, if you're heading up to the palace, return this royal gate key, will ya? Some idiot must have lost it. Gross, it's covered in bite marks. Yeah, I found it in my mouth an hour ago. Here you go. You got the royal gate key. How gross, don't chew other people's stuff. Those are the worst kinds of people in school, honestly. The people who just... Like, they're asking for like a pencil or a pen or an eraser, and it comes back with bite marks. Oh, could it be? Do you have the Royal Gate key? Would you pass it through, please? No. Then all is truly lost. <laughs> Jeez, way to lose all hope in life. Yes, yes, he gave the gate key. Ah, uh, it is a thing of beauty. Now, can I unlock this? Unfasten that, reattach, and there. Sequin Land Palace is once again open to the public. Please come inside. Sweet. And without even so much as taking a shower, we're just gonna go straight ahead into a library. Welcome to Sequin Land Palace. Oh geez, it's pretty loud in here. Hi, I hear that the Sultana is traveling. I worry when she was so far from the palace. There's so many cushy pillows everywhere. What's that smell? Uh-oh, this is not my armor. Ugh. <laughs> That's arguably even worse. What, what's up with you? The Royal Library? Through this door and across the hall. This looks pretty intimidating, but nothing can be done here. A visitor! Let's have a look at you. Oh, this library card doesn't fool these old eyes. You used to come here all the time. The Relic Hunter's daughter, right? Yes, well, he's my uncle. And what's this? A court summons? You gave summons. It says here that, hmm, scissors, just saw, goat mouth. What? They mean to cut off that long, winsome hair? That will never do. Why don't I just file these papers away until the Sultana returns? I like to give you an annoying wink now, but sadly my eyelids no longer work. Please take whatever you came for. Thank you very much. Oh, what a sweet old man. The hollow globe contains a secret. You got the Forbidden Isles map. Sweet. Oh yeah, indeed. That was quick and easy. Thank you, my friend. Keep that chin up, young lady. You have friends all around you. Good luck. Aww. It reminds me of one of my older jobs. Some of my favorite customers are quite frankly the, uh, the older folk that came in. They're always so sweet and kind and surprisingly patient. It's definitely against like the common stereotype of like the impatient elderly that gets fr frustrated with the youth nowadays but nevertheless we'll probably have to take care of that vacation brochure at a later date and you should be fine 
I've escaped from these kids. Now we're just talking. Hard to tell the difference, I suppose. Absolutely. But at least I know you'll be alive. For now. Now we just need to make our way back to Risky with these fancy little papers. See you there. Back safe and sound ish in Scuttle Town. And speaking of changes that come from the old games into the new ones, one of my all time favorite changes this is the bathhouse. I sometimes drink the water. You know, I think there's a lot of people online that have debatably done the same thing for someone else's bath water. But this is my favorite change right here. Gone are the days of spending potions and save states and all this other kind of stuff. Take a dip in the bathhouse, get nice and clean, and it heals you up brand spanking new. Take a dip in this herbal spring. It is sure to restore your vigor. I want to do this so bad. I know some people get kind of squeamish at the idea of being out in public in a less desirable form per se let's say so that youtube doesn't attack me uh but you know what like i don't even care well what took you so long sorry i was talking about bathhouses i found this at the library a map of the forbidden isles just like you said huh i guess a little good for nothing is good for something after all you gave the forbidden map so will you let me help only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The Pirate Master is my foe to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a deal. Let's beat this guy together and save Sequin Land. Mm, hold on. I don't know you won't pull a fast one. Would I lie to you? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Say hello to the steam-powered Oceanic Tinker Tub Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happened to it! Get on board before I change my mind! And with Risky Boots' help, we can travel across the many different seas. We can say bye-bye to Scuttle Town for now. And another great thing, we don't have to worry too much about losing or forgetting things. I know that I probably didn't get every little thing in Pirate's Curse, and... I'm still not sure if I ever want to go back and do that just yet. I might, I might not. That's still kind of on the table. But in this game, that's not an issue. There's a little tracker on top to keep track of every little thing we're going to see. And there is a lot to do in this game, as you can see. But with Risky's help, we can get to any and all of these in no time. But before we go anywhere, I'm actually going to head back to Scuttletown. I wanted to head back because of two things. For starters... I do believe I have enough heart squids. Scuttletown Squidsman at your service. Ready to force some heart holders? Yeah, great. Here we go. Oh, we needed four. My mistake. And that's how you do it. There, your max heart has increased by one. Sweet. That should get us ready for the trip ahead. Because heaven knows I'm probably going to die. Now, as for you, welcome to my shop. I want to buy myself a bunch of pirate flares just ahead of time before disaster strikes. And then, uh, well, I guess I don't really have a lot of money. I could buy myself a bubble, but it's probably not that big a deal. I think I should be fine on the healing department. I have been picking up quite a few items since I was out. I got meat chunklet, even a bento box. I even have an auto potion. So that being said, I think that's everything I want to take care of before we embark across the seas. And with the save state in mind and nothing else really left to do in Scuttletown, at least for now, I know the location of some other heart squids. Don't know the location of some cackle bats, unfortunately. At least not off the top of my head, but I'm sure we'll find them. Another great thing about WayForward is never too hard to find items. Like, rare stuff. You do have to, like, get creative. But they don't do it like how some games do it, where they kind of, like, make you go on this wild goose chase and then, and then act like, oh... I'm sorry, did you not expect to clip through the earth in order to find this item? Maybe that's your fault. Oopsies. Way 4 doesn't do that. At least, not a lot. They definitely have their moments, I'm not gonna lie. But, I think we are quite literally ready to go. So, how about we take care of that in the next episode? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, or you guys have a great night. And I will see you next time. Bye bye now.